Hey guys, welcome back. This is Amy with Android Power. Today in this video, we are going to talk about safety net which many users have tripped due to routing and modifying their system partition or any other reason. Google uses something called safety net to detect whether your device is routed or not and blocks access to those features. Google is not the only one either. Plenty of third party apps also won't work on rooted Android devices. Although they may check for the presence of root in other ways. So we are going to fix this in this video. But before moving ahead, if you have not subscribed to my channel, hit the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be our notification squad. So as you guys can see, I am trying to use Google Pay on my device, but it says Google Pay can't be used on this device. And if we go to Magix Manager and check for safety net status, it says CTS profile false, which means my device is not passing the safety net. So in order to fix this in Magix, tap on three dot menu on the top left side and go to downloads and search Magix hide props configuration and then install this module. When installing is done, again go to Magix, tap on three dot menu, then Magix hide then search for all banking apps, those you are not able to use and select that. Now go to the app info of the all apps, those giving you the safety net error and clear all data of the app. Now reboot the device. So the reboot sequence has done and module has been installed on my device. Now go to play store and install any terminal emulator app. I suggest you to install Termax which I have already installed on my device. So let's open the app and type su and hit enter to give root permissions via pop-up or manually. So when root permissions are granted, now type props and hit enter in terminal to launch Magix Hide Props module interface. Now you need to choose first option by typing 1 in terminal app. Now again the interface will give you options. Choose the first option again which means PK certified fingerprint. For this you need to type F and hit enter. Now this will result in showing you the list of devices which covers almost all of the OEMs and their devices like Asus, Xiaomi, OnePlus, Samsung, Motorola, Lenovo, Google, HTC, Nokia, Sony, LG, Razer, Essential Phone, Elephone and etc. In my case I am using Xiaomi device to select the Xiaomi and for this I need to type 18 and hit enter in terminal because Xiaomi is on 18 number on the list. Choose your manufacturer accordingly. After selecting your manufacturer it will show you their list of devices like I am using Wired means Redmi Note 5 Pro. So I am choosing Redmi Note 5 Pro and typing the Note 5 Pro list number and hit enter. Now it will ask you is it right or not type 1 and hit enter. Again for the last time it will ask you to reboot your device. You need to type Y and hit enter and your device will reboot. One thing to remember don't type D to activate fingerprint. You just need to type Y. If you choose any other option then why you will end it up with a boot loop. So the reboot has done and process has completed for the stock ROMs. For custom ROMs there is another extra step I will tell you in the end of the video. Now first go to Magix manager and check for safety net. And as you guys can see safety net has been passed successfully. Now go to Google Pay or any other banking apps and check. As you guys can see OTP has been verified and I can use Google Pay without any issues. So this is all you need to do. And if you are still facing this issue and banking apps are not working for you and you are on custom ROMs, try these extra steps. So go to Google Pay and disable phone permissions. Also in Magic Side, select all the apps of the Google like phone, contacts, Google app and Google Play services. Also go to system settings, then application manager, then show system apps, 
Now find Google Play Services app and disable the permissions of the telephone in the Google Play Services. Now force stop the banking app and any other app and clear data and reboot. Your banking app will work. If you are on custom ROMs, you need to do some extra step and make sure you have rebooted your device with all these steps. Now again go to Termax app and type SU and grant root permissions. Now type props and select script setting. And hit enter. Now select boot stage and hit enter. Now again select P and reboot your device. Your device will pass safety net on custom ROMs. So that's it for the video. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.